I was um, when I was following on Instagram and I saw you had Jack jumped Carmel. in on. What up, what? What's happening, man? I think that Ed and Gary probably pretty good at helping try to set me up on a date or whatever. Gary been around me longer, and Ed is just like the homie. So just to mix them together and get their different opinions, I think we can come up with something. And that's Versace. <laughs> That's for Suchi is what it is. No, but this is Versace. This you is spent way too afraid. much money on clothes. We done talked about that, especially for somebody who clothes and don't fit. And then he had the nerve to go home on my shirt. My shirt came from Zara, but he said that this is an imitation for Gucci. That's, man, that's Gucci, Hill. I like that in. shirt, but at least it's... $29. It's, now, how much you pay for that shirt? $800. No, I got it from a consignment shop. But anyway, y'all answer. <laughs> I'm talking about my mother. You looking like Farmer Brown, and you looking like a Gucci reject. <laughs> that's all right. We'll mm -hmm. take that. Look how y'all look. Y'all both got unlimited cards and y'all dressed like y'all came from a damn Cracker Jack box. I need y'all to go back to the drawing board and then come back tomorrow. And you know, every time I do a show somewhere, everybody's always booed up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a good that, date night. Coming to see you was a good date night. <laughs> it was a chick who was laid on the front, on the uh, fourth row. I kept looking at her. I was like, I was like, damn. Yeah, she was like, damn oh, my long. God. You know, and I just can't go in the audience and yeah, get somebody. Yeah, the you can. I can't walk in the audience and get somebody phone number. Yes, you can. If somebody's sitting up there looking at you. That's right. Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? I... Ooh, Rick smiling. Yeah, but you got... <laughs> but you got security with you, and then you point one yeah. out and have the security go get them, bring it backstage. Sometimes the lights be in your eyes, and you see a woman from the stage, because the lights be in your eyes, and you can't really see their face. And boy, they come backstage. I'm like, you need a filter. <laughs> Instagram, please. <laughs> I know exactly what you need. You need a professional matchmaker. You need to get married because, you know, Ricky, if you get married, it'll add five years to your life. At least yeah, we need that. You'll live to be 100. What about if you get divorced? Do you lose five? Because then I lost a lot. My first wife. <laughs> right, OK. I'm yeah. getting back with the second wife. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they said, if you look at breasts, you live eight years longer. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. So now I got an excuse to tell my wife why I'm looking at some woman's cleavage. Yeah. Right. So I'm trying to add to give us more time. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give mm -hmm. myself <laughs> plenty more. Yeah. So you had the wounded bird syndrome like I used to have. Mm -hmm. I can fix her. She got a little wing wrong, I did. but I can put I, some I, tape I, I on did it. I do that for her. fly again. Yeah, no. Don't you know. save her. No. She, she don't, don't want to be saved. saved. Yeah. We got to right. come up. Seriously. The perfect woman from head to toe. Portia Williams, Lisa Ray, Beyonce. Kelly Rowland and Holly Berry ain't nothing like a bow leg. Boy, them, boy, them, whew. We got to find him a woman that like to swim and a woman that got her own thing going on. She, she needs to be aquatic and she needs to have a job. <laughs> She's a swimmer. That's an aquatic Negro. Aquatic? Is that right? She, like she likes to swim. Get a mermaid or something. I think Ed advice to get a matchmaker is cool because Ed and Gary don't really know what to ask. You know, they just, you know, look at her butt when she walk off and, and try to figure out what her bus size is. Say what you want. The attraction, how they look, that's the first thing you see. Yeah. Because they can be a beautiful person on the inside and be a booger wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. But, but I do have somebody booger. for you. One-on-one -on -one matchmaker in Buckhead. Only top-notch, top-service client. And if you feel uncomfortable, me and G are going with you. Yeah. I'm your boy. I'm married. I'm hey, the man, best wing I'll trust you, but his hating ass. On Ricky. the tide. On the tide. Yeah, and if you don't like it, you on just the say you don't like it. I can, be, can I meet somebody at church? Well, you Bruh, can meet her at church, time. too, you but let me go it? here. And then if you don't meet somebody, you go to church. Yeah. Because I want to go see. Roll, this here do so, so we go You do it? it? Roll My man. Side. There you go. Gary. No, like Jesus. this. Oh. Yeah, come no. on, man. Let's have all that. We the don't do all that. We stay eight times each other. Appreciate you coming to help. Great shirt. Pops been in here trying to get this gym together. I ain't really been too much of help. Yeah. <laughs> How long you had it? Man, not too long. We've been at it for like three weeks trying to get it together, man. For real? Yeah, so it's coming along real nice though, but. So it's like a uh like CrossFit? Yeah, CrossFit and really what we're gonna be doing is having boot camps for like teachers and, and single moms, stuff like that on yeah. this side. Just yeah. get them in shape, let them have some fun. We're trying to get it in. We got a couple train. Were you training something? Huh? You looking swole, bro. I just want to get a little bulkier, man, but... It can happen, you know what I'm saying? It just Even takes with work. CrossFit? Yeah, it just takes the right work. I'm definitely being here, man. Yeah. We're going to do a lot of good stuff, man. We got we got Father-Son Night we're going to be doing. Just something that's like has men bonding. Yeah, Father-Son you know Dance. 
Nah, man, go ahead with that, bro. We're gonna have to put the gloves on. <laughs> I don't have that many positive friends, and I'm trying to weave out my negative friends, so it's definitely good to have Reese as somebody to talk to, somebody to motivate me, and just somebody to be around so some of the energy can rub off on me. How hey, everything else been? Like, everything with you and Portia, y'all still cool? Yeah, we cool, but you know, my situation was like, I just had a baby. You just had a baby? Yeah. Like a newborn like a baby? New baby. For real? I usually don't share this story because it's yeah. real personal, but she was born premature. She came super early. She was born at one pound. So all your attention had to immediately just yeah, drop to that. Yeah, go to that. She was in the hospital, first 90 days of life. Now the baby doing real good. Like, I'm prayerful about that and happy about that. That ain't do pushing. Portia and old girl know each other, old girl know about Portia. They know of each other, because I'm honest. You better than me, what man. What you mean, bro? What you into now, They would have had to catch me red-handed. <laughs> deny, deny, deny. Boy, you worse than Trump, bro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Can't tell them everything, man. That's a headache, though. I feel you. I think Reese and Portia probably going to end up getting married. Even though they keep falling apart, they keep on coming back together. And that's a sign, you know, maybe they can't leave each other alone, but I wish them the best of luck. What's up with you, though, man? You <clears throat> just got this new spot, man, with Bianca or whatever. Wait, when did y'all do this? A week ago. OK. <laughs> man, you got to talk to your big bro about stuff like this, man. man. It was like, <laughs> we, it was like we had a place where I was like, we're going to be together tonight. We've been talking for a long time. This is your idea. Yeah, I mean, it's cool, man. It's different, man. Just. Coming home, your girl there. Mm -hmm. When you need to go to work, your girl's still there. <laughs> <laughs> but she don't leave to work neither. Huh? Huh? Do you heard me? <laughs> she ain't working tonight. She work at nighttime. Okay. She work at like this bar. I got you. Nah, ain't that. I was just asking. So it's like we yeah. kind of don't see each other except for like on a weekend, for real, for real. I think that might work out for y'all. Just keep your phone clean, bro. Man, my phone was straight. All right, cool. That's all I need to know. My phone has got me messed up in the past. I'm talking about I done woke up out my sleep with a phone in my face, with the bright lights on and everything, talking about some who is this? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So I'm definitely not trying to have that happen again. Like, I'm in town, I got my own place, you know, my sister here, Dope. you here, Portia here. Like, all of us need to, like, just do something, just go out and do something. Yeah, let's get it, bro, you know I'm with it. All right, cool. Good to see you, man, appreciate you helping me out. comfortable reaching out to Uncle Gary because I know that he's always going to keep it real and I can always go to him for good advice. So, D, what's been going on? I haven't seen you on this since, ooh, last year sometime. I just moved, uh, like, permanently from Miami. Well, why did you move from Miami? I'm just going to school. Yeah, I was, but then I wasn't taking any classes this semester. Yeah. I wasn't doing anything but working in, like, a hookah. Well, I was working with a hookah You're working company. with a hookah? Hookah. Oh, a hookah. I just said, girl, you're <laughs> with a hookah. So what, are you the Mayflower madam? Did your daddy know about this? Because, honey, these hookahs and hookahs, honey, they kind of sound alike. So we got to be more specific. So I'm going to get a full set. Yeah, I'm just going to have the clear. The clear. Yeah, I'm so, so, OK, so now you didn't move from Miami. So where you at? Same with my dad. Oh, really? Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, that's cute. She's gonna have to definitely be on her P's and Q's, honey. You cannot come to Atlanta and do nothing crazy because your daddy is here. And trust me, honey, whatever you do and people know who you are, it's gonna definitely get back to him. But it is still really weird, like, coming from college, coming from my own coming apartment, back, back to stand with my dad. I mean, I'm just used to getting up and going wherever. Yeah, well, tell him that you're going, honey, um, to one of your girlfriend's house. <laughs> <laughs> Just say, well, Dad, I'm gonna go hang out with one of my I'm girlfriends. I'm gonna be like, I'm going to hang with Uncle Gary. Exactly, exactly. And you know, and you could definitely get away with that one, honey. <laughs> but you know, but we gotta be sure, and you gotta definitely let me know where you will be. <laughs> so, okay, so now, would you be in with him, or are you gonna take some classes? Yesterday, I went to go see um, the Art Institute. So you wanna get in a school like, just, uh, yeah, arts school, I wanna, or school, or tech school, you know, yeah. where you can just fulfill your major and be out of there. So, so what's your major? Um, communications, working oh, in oh, the yeah. same field as you. I wanna be able to do stuff on my own. Yeah, well, that's You know good. what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it, everything to be handed to me. Exactly. Exactly. And I want to... Spoiled child. Yeah. I think maybe you could try to get an internship with um, Ed Loving him. I mean, I think that would be a good thing, you know? And really? Yeah, I mean, because Ed, you know, he's been around for, like, oh, some umpteen years. That's actually a great idea. Yeah, that, I, you know, he worked right there at the station with me in the morning. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. I think it would be too easy if you did it with us, because, first of all, it's your daddy's show. 
Yeah. Number one. Number two, of course we're going to let you make it. So, mm, nah. Yeah, y'all would. <laughs> yeah, so no, so I think you should be with somebody that's not, you know, as attached. I'm very happy to help um, Diaz's out and connect her with Eddie because, honey, she's like my niece. So it's no way in hell I'm going to send her out into the world not knowing what she's doing. What's up, man? What you working out for? What you working out for? <laughs> I just can't work out. Uh, regular day, I just came to the house to come chill because I happen to stop by. I can always tell when something wrong with Uncle Ricky because of the way he approaches you. If he's okay, he's excited. He's like, hey, Craig, what's up? What's up? What's up? But when he's mad, he's like, hey, Craig. And he sit down somewhere and just look at you and then goes into a speech. How was the prom? Prom was good. It was real fun. Was it packed? It was, it was like, packed at first, and then, then the DJ just kept messing up, so everyone just started leaving and going to, like, the after parties and stuff. How was spring break? Uh, for me, it was fun. What y'all do? I went to Pensacola Beach. So it was nice. Y'all got all week? I got there Tuesday night. Yeah, so that means you start at home, OK? All right, so you on schedule for graduation? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. OK. Because your spring break at your school ain't until next week. Yeah, I know. That's when my, that's why I was allowed to go. Like, my grades are straight. The only grade that, like, is iffy is my geometry, but I have someone helping me with that because this is an online class. OK, but, but you missed a whole week out of school. I got my work before I left. OK, did you have permission from the teacher? Because let me tell you something. If I, don't, I don't know a lot of stuff that ain't had go. Yes, sir. You're not supposed to miss an extra week out of school. Take a week before spring break. Yeah, sir. See what I'm saying? You done already had spring break. Now you got your two weeks off and stuff. Now, what did your grandmama have to say about you going out there? She was fine with it. She was like, as long as my grades are good. But you don't live with your grandma no more. I do live with my grandma. No, you live with your girlfriend. I don't live with her. I go over there most of the time, but I don't live with her. Now, you can't fool me. Now, mm -hmm. now we just talking as men, so you ain't got to lie to me. Because the only thing I'm trying to do is help you out. So I talked to your grandma. You ain't been living with your grandma, Craig. That's the truth. Just tell me what, what you owe now. Ain't nobody give you no whooping? Yes, sir. Now the question becomes, now why did your grandma put you out? She never put me out. Why did you leave your grandmother? Every now and then I go sleep at my girlfriend's house because she wants she asks me to sleep over. Your girlfriend mother let you spend a night over there? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, sir. But but she ain't never spent the night with your grandma's house. She has. And your grandma was there. Mm -hmm. You can't sit here and make me believe that your grandma let you lay up and let your girl rest. My grandma's smile. fine with that. As long as I don't have sex in her house, she doesn't care. Miss Emma is saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, five baptized, <laughs> got Jesus on her side, and she's running for her life. Let her stay her ass over there. You can go on with that line. <laughs> you have an answer for everything. You have the right answer and an explanation for everything, and it's just bull. And people that have an explanation for everything are people that don't listen to nothing. Yes, sir. Because you're not listening to anything because you're trying to figure out your explanation. You know, you position your answers where I'm lying, but I'm not really lying. And, and, and what I'm going to tell you today is, man, when you get out here and you keep doing things the way that you do things, you headed down a, a bad road. If you don't change your ways and how you operate, and get rid of the lying and manipulative spirit, a day gonna come, you gonna regret that you didn't listen to me. So if Uncle Ricky really wants to put his trust in me, he's saying he's giving me trust, he needs to full out trust me. He doesn't need to doubt me. He just needs to know if I say something, it's gonna happen. I done told everybody, man, Craig doing good. Craig done turned it around. Then you, you take a whole week out of school. Can't do that, man. I don't wanna see nothing happen to you. That's my biggest nightmare. Do you care anything about any of us? Yes, sir. Now, now, hold on. Before you keep saying yes, sir, a lot of this stuff that you're doing and these decisions that you're making, Craig, is selfish. You need to stop, man. You need to be honest with people. You need to ask permission. You're not grown. Well, my grandma and my uncle knew I was going, and my mom knew I was going. See, again. I'm just saying, you said no one knew. I'm just saying they didn't know. I didn't know. Yes, sir. They didn't buy you the car, I bought you the car. Yes, sir. And that's what I keep saying. You got to answer for everything. You're not listening. Yes, sir. You're going to have to change. 
definitely nervous going into the meeting with Ed Lover. I mean, he's a hip-hop legend. I'm asking him, can I intern with him? You never know what he's gonna say, but you don't know until you ask, so here we go. The essence is in the hell. <laughs> What's up, sister? Good, What's how going you? on? I'm doing okay, how are you? You look good. I'm trying. I'm pretty fair for a square. I'm good. I'm feeling good. Just moved out here from Miami. What made the change? Why'd you move from Miami? Well, I was taking uh, classes at FIU. Right. And um, my grades start failing and stuff. So I couldn't take classes this spring semester, mm. so. So you got the whole semester off. Right. So what you gonna do with yourself this semester? Well, I am a communications major, and I'm actually enrolling in a school out here in Atlanta, either the Art Institute, uh, Connecticut Broadcasting, or Georgia State Perimeter. Okay. So I was wondering if I could do an internship with you. But you know, people are gonna say, Ed is really cool with your dad. Yes, but he's not around. I'm asking you by myself. The essence. Your father has one of the biggest, most I successful know, but... radio shows in this country. Why wouldn't you want to intern with your dad? Because, I, I don't know, I just feel like with him, people would look at it as it's being given to you. I don't want it to seem like everything is being given to me. I want to work for it. I want to say, I worked with these people and I learned stuff from them without the help of my dad. Right. I so. understand that. That's a great road to travel. It's not going to be easy. And we ain't gonna take it easy on you because you're Ricky's it, daughter. Exactly. That's what I don't want. I want you to learn. I think it's a I good atmosphere learn. to learn. I wouldn't want to work with my father either. Who this? Do that. Who that? Da -da 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 -da. So, if I could teach her, Uncle Ed is always here to teach the babies. As an intern, we're gonna teach you everything you need to know to be successful. Right. We're gonna start from the bottom. What do you mean by the bottom, starting from the bottom? That means you have to do the grunt work that every intern has to do. Like bringing coffee. And breakfast and <laughs> breakfast. stuff like that. I definitely think working with Ed, he's going to expect more from me than my dad probably would. He's probably going to push me harder. Like, I'm down for it all the way. Let me tell you some of the do's and don'ts of being an intern. Okay. There's no excuse for being late. This is a job. You have to take this seriously as if you were getting a big check from it. You have right. to be on time. Number two, no fraternization with celebrities that come through. I don't give a damn if Beyonce walked <laughs> through that door. You are not to bother Beyonce. You right. are not to ask Beyonce for a picture. None of that. Don't bother the celebrities, okay? All right? And we're gonna work your way up to you ready to run that board and produce this show, but you're gonna have to do things the Ed Lover way, and it's not always conventional. So don't think I'm coming into work at 4.30 okay. and I'm off at 10 and I'm going home. Yeah, there'll be days like that, but there'll be days when we will be out and about for a long time. That's fine with me. You with it? I'm with it. Let me talk it over with my executive producer okay. and my staff, and I'm giving you the green light, and I'm the boss, so welcome aboard. Thank you. Like for rappers, it's everything because you get to rap your whole dialect. I'm actually very, very nervous. What? Here's the thing people are gonna go crazy just because you're hit. But that's when the pressure is on. Oh. Oh, you. No, like, I. <laughs> people love you to the fact that I... where you can go, numb, 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 and no one will give it in. I don't do this head crack. This is really your lane. We do this on Fridays on the radio. <laughs> like, but at midnight, it's going to be fine. <laughs> so technically, <laughs> we're in the back. Now, it's been a minute since I've seen the brat do her thing. I mean, you, you've seen her rock the classics, like Funk the Fight, I'm going to give it to you, what do you like, and all that. But to see her in an acapella format, just kicking rhymes for an underground hip-hop crowd, oh, yeah, I'm with this, like Big Daddy Kane used to say. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm forgetting the lyrics and everything. <laughs> Senior in the high school versus the senior citizen. This the island Bora Bora versus the island that lost Gilligan. <laughs> you lack skill. Before you got on stage, you probably what? Popped a pill, drank some lean, squeezed in your skinny ass jeans. Oh my God, it's all finna be on me. Oh Lord Jesus. You gotta pray about it. 
Dear Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm asking you right now to give me strength and help me remember these rhymes and let your will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <gasps> Although I've been doing shows for over 20 years, I still get nervous, I still get butterflies in my stomach, I still get sweaty, and I still occasionally have How many of y'all ever been to, like, Best Buy and tried to return something before? So we're going to recreate one of those scenarios right here and see what these people are trying to return. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Best Mart. How can I help you? Oh, f You like, it's the brat, bruh. <laughs> Welcome to Best Mart. What are you returning? I want to return hip hop. What's wrong with it? It don't fit right. <laughs> Calling themselves real MCs don't spit right. <laughs> Follow the wrong beliefs that can't get right. Man, Big Papa and Pac is gone. I really miss they songs. It's so many big hip hop critical on the microphone. I'm critically acclaimed. I'm glad I came out when I did. Thank God, because most of you wouldn't even be able to put a face with my name. You know, we play a lot of good songs on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, but I don't know what they look like. They think they're a real dope MC because the hook right. Let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't like your store. Just give me my money back. I don't even want to exchange, okay? I just want the product to get upgraded back to the way that it came. Thank you. This is defective. What's been up, Aaron? We missed you. I missed y'all too. Everything's good, nothing new. It feels awesome to have all of my siblings at one table, finally. Like, we finally have Aaron here. It just feels good, you know, that we can all link up together and just enjoy a good meal. You got a boyfriend down there? Yeah. Oh, she said pole. She ain't gonna lie. No, oh, he's down there. He's down there? He's down there. Yeah, but he's not there right now. Where is he now? Atlanta. Oh, he lives in Atlanta? Yeah. No, he doesn't live there, but he's, like, there for basketball right now, but he lives in Columbia. What's his name? Nico. 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 So he's Hispanic. I mean, he's Colombian. I need to meet the brothers. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, right. It really is. When I had girlfriends, I mean, they have to meet everybody that's sitting here at this table right now. He doesn't need to be checked. He's a good guy. Promise. Y'all can't be double standard because I ain't never seen y'all check for Malik's girlfriend. They the same age. What you mean? Yeah, check I, knew, I knew I knew most of Malik girlfriends. Dad definitely has a double standard yeah, too, so that's probably who y'all get it from. I mean, that's a different situation. Different, I mean, though. She's, she's a girl. No, you mean see, you can't do that. I hate that. Like, that's the no, same thing. That's, this is, this is no, how like... they think. This is how it's not different, because that young girl that he's dating, she is the same age as him. And she just like Aaron. My brothers are really getting on my nerves with this double standard. Like, literally, I'm about to punch all of them in the throat, because that doesn't even make sense. Like, logically, you're not even listening to yourself. I think Dad also has double standards. When I first asked him, like, OK, well, can I go out, like, with Nico, because he's leaving soon, blah, 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 he, like, completely flipped on me. And he was like, you can't go out on dates until you're 16. And then I was like, OK, but Malik goes out on dates with, like, seven different girls, and you don't say anything to him. I don't go Malik out on dates. Malik used to have girls pick him up from the house. But I can't go out with a guy. <laughs> and he's 15, but I couldn't get a boyfriend until I was 16. Right. What's I'm this? like, that doesn't make sense. Is this, like, this? Or just how it is. No. So are you still going to talk to Nico, even though Dad said you can't have a boyfriend? Well, technically, he didn't say I'm, I can't have a boyfriend. He just said I can't go on dates. OK, that's so. clever. That's a clever way to put it. Like, just wait till oh. your birthday and be like, oh, Dad, I have a boyfriend, but I'm 16 now. You said I had to be 16 to date, so we good. We I good. can go on dates now. Cool. My dad would probably be really, really pissed off if he found out that I was dating Nico behind his back. He just can't find out. Keeping secrets from your dad is not a smart idea. It's not really a secret. I mean, if he finds out, he finds out. But his argument was invalid as well. Because so he was like, find shut out. up. Because he was like, if you, you can't go on a date until you're 16 until I personally meet him. I live in a different country. Like, that doesn't make sense. That will fall down. You know well, that. He's, he's going to find out eventually, but nobody said it has to be now. Your mama know? Yeah. I mean, did you know y'all be going on dates? He comes over, I go to his house. Oh, that's worse than a date. Dang. I'm the older brother. You know, she's my little sister, but, you know, she's 15. She's growing up, so I can't just hold her back just because she's my little sister. She has a boyfriend, and she has a feeling for a guy. I can't help that. The way you should have the conversation with Dad is if you walk 
up to him, look him in the eye and tell him. I have him, a boyfriend. Tell, no, and tell him straight up. All right, Dad, I'm not going to lie to you. I have a boyfriend, all right? I don't think that's a good idea, but... No, yeah, and then if I'm you were supportive, dad. I would be more open. Like, okay, yeah, to dad. To tell like, you things. Yeah, but, like, if I'm scared of telling my own dad, why would I know? Y'all the youngest, too. Y'all y'all my twins. Both of y'all 15, then to be 16 and something. So, who gonna drive first? The oldest go first. I'm gonna be scared, but they need to learn how to drive because all the little trips to Walmart, getting this little tedious stuff, take your own damn self to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock. It's, it's a, uncomfortable. The worst habit, not coming to a complete stop at the stop sign, Aaron. Yeah, yeah that's me. Heal unto temptation. You never heard that one? <laughs> <laughs> Malik's an okay driver. Sometimes he likes to drive with one hand. I don't I don't like that, but I mean he doesn't crash, so it's all good. Hit it, hit it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Don't hit the man that's jogging. Oh, sorry. Oh god. <laughs> Stop, Dad. Go away. You don't put me out? <laughs> Go. Let the car I pass. can see it, Dad. Just put your signal light on. Hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? You're a backseat driver. Shut up. Thank you. Just letting us be alive. Only you, Father. Everybody have their own way of driving. As long as they drive safe, fine with me. Good job. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Dad. Uh, we need to settle this debate that she was arguing over everybody with her and the essence. Everybody. What? So, like, double standards? Sort of. Double standards? What do you mean, double standards? Like, how I can't date or, like, do anything until I'm 16, but Malik is also 15, and he goes, like, everywhere with countless girls. I don't get it. I never let him go on a date. I ain't never let you go on a date. You been on a date? I mean, he went on a date. It was with the family, yeah. I mean, Dad may not know it, but we know it. I wasn't just gonna put him on blast in front of Dad like that. Like, you can't do that. I ain't never let nobody go on a date at the age of 15, not in this house. You'll be good at 16 before you take anybody to the movies from here. Just a little old school, but ain't nothing wrong with that, because you got plenty of time for that. You're still a kid. Go on a date with me, I'll take you somewhere. It was all right when I was taking you out to Chuck E. Cheese and all that stuff, but mm. now, now I'm not cool to hang with. Who you like? Nico. Nico. Can you stop? Negro. Ne no, I'm going to just go ahead and leave. Don't touch me. Malik needs to leave me alone. Anyway, he makes fun of me for having feelings for Nico. Like, who does that? Who is his mama name? That's where we in Alabama. Where's mama at? In Bogota. Oh, in Bogota. Where's daddy? In Bogota. Are they together? Yeah. Who is his grandparents? I don't know. What church they go to? They don't. Well, no, they do go to church, but I don't know. It's like What's Spanish. the name of the church? I don't know. It's in Spanish. OK, OK, you need to find out. Tell me about him. Is he in the choir? My boyfriend? I'm your boyfriend. No, you're not. I'm your boyfriend. No, until, you're not. Until I pass you off. Until I walk you down that aisle, I'll pay for everything. I'm your man. OK, then he's my second man. Girl, you ain't finna worry me today. Talking about some boyfriend. Now, at 15, he can come over and sofa sit. That means stay your ass right there in that living room where I can have eyes on you at all time because I don't like people I don't know in my house. I'm funny <laughs> acting like that. So your mama let you go on a date down there? No. Tell the truth. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do I meet him? I got to go to Bogota. Um. Well, actually, he's in Atlanta right now. What are you in Atlanta for? So he plays basketball, and he's for like. The Hawks. No, Dad. No. He plays basketball for the Bogota team, and so their coach like took them to Atlanta to play. So he's there for three months, now two months. So I need to talk to his coach or his mama? OK. I mean, I went to ask him. I, I know you weren't asking. You know I'm going to sit down and talk to him without you in the room. No, because you're mean. No, I'm not mean. I'm just firm. I'm just going to ask the right question. Just a minute. Cheer up, come on here, child. Okay, Juicy. 
What? Have a seat, babe. I got you your own seat. <laughs> I'm here now at Gary's house to share some time with him, and we can, you know, catch up on old times like we used to. Listen, Juice, honey, I invited you over because, girl, you know, we hadn't seen each other child in a minute. So, yeah, honey... you mean since you left me standing? Honey... You finally uh, decide to make some time for me? Yes, baby, I'm trying to make time for you, girl, honey. I got some <laughs> refreshing beverage, child. Where you going with that dusty-ass bottle? Girl, because after you have something, you can take the bottle home and use it. Uh, whatever. Hell, That's on. dusty. Give me something that has a little less <laughs> dust in it. All right, <laughs> you pee, girl. I guess you didn't got a grand, honey. How Gary gonna try to pour me some wine out of a dusty bottle? I'm sure he had other use for that dusty bottle. And pouring me some of it ain't what it is. I know you and Beyonce, y'all not done. And you feel like I've been showing her a lot of time, but I've been showing you a lot of time, too. No, you have not. Juicy. Don't return my text. You don't return my call. And then when you finally did, you came late as hell. After we trying to have a nice little lunch date... Yeah, but Beyonce is you pregnant. Mean, she ain't handicapped. Yeah, I understand that, but I mean, just, since you're here, I want you to help me out. I, I got something good we gonna do. We could, it's a cute little project that we could do together, child, baby. I mean, hey, we could work this out, honey, because Jesus could work it out, honey, if you let him. Oh, yes, child. Look at this. Look. <laughs> Juicy. What you want to do with this? We for to sit here. Me and you're gonna bond, and we're gonna be bonding together by putting this little toy together for Beyonce's baby. And put this for Beyonce? For the baby, yeah. Oh, hell no. That's you catering to every need, not me. We're gonna put this together, well, baby. We're gonna see how you gonna put it together uh -huh. by yourself. Cause this ain't what I do. Oh, look how cute! Oh! It matches my shirt. Look at that. Darling. It don't have no choice but to match your shirt. Why not? You didn't leave no colors. No, you didn't. Oh, wait a minute. You're trying to read me. Do you want me to go inside your head with this pipe? Don't do it, niece. Juicy, I'm sorry. I'm gonna just call it like it is. You're petty. You're petty. Petty. Don't you have one of these? No. <laughs> so, do he wear this? Debo, sir, Armando, por un adulto. Oh, that, what's that? Por favor, let's. Half of that Spanish. You can barely speak English. Boy, well, you gave it to me. It's all in Spanish. Okay, here's some instructions. It's diagrams right here. Oh, hell, I don't know about no diagram. Food ain't no diaphragm, it's diagram. Oh, diagram. <laughs> I'm tired of this, because I don't, I don't love her like that. Yeah, well, you should love her like that. Start Why? loving her. Because she your friend, Juicy. Damn she ain't it. my friend. She's somebody that stole you away from me and not giving but... me the time and energy. Because this, this stuff is just raggedy, just like she is. So don't you take know it what? out. Don't say that. I paid good money for this. Don't take it well, out on the damn baby here. I ain't Look said up. the baby was raggedy. I said she was raggedy. You know what? This is the kind of friendship that you want to have with me? Is well, this what it is? Well, I mean, you should In the sake of Beyonce? Well, yes, I mean, you got to help her. I got to help Beyonce. She you know friend, you got to help me. I ain't got time for this stuff. Forget you. Forget these toys. I don't care. You want to do this for Beyonce, you do it for Beyonce. You don't think about me no other days of the week, but you going to call me and ask me, put some together for Beyonce. You know what? You and this toy can go kiss my tail. Bye. Well, well don't let me call tell you something. You're going to help you. Get your That's ass right. out there. You but you know what? And don't come back, you little friend.